Alrighty, today is Thursday, November 16th, 2023. Holy moly, it's going to be turkey day before you know it. Turkey and pie. Who eats pie first? Who sits down at their, their Thanksgiving dinner and eats it backwards? Pie first. Anybody? Anybody do that? We did that one year and I'm going to push for it this year. And it was fun. Eat pie first. That's what I think. Okay. Let's go. So, um, all right, let's start with the cues today because everybody knows I've got some cue puts on here. And um, we closed down a little bit yesterday, so that's kind of working. Uh, this morning, I was pretty happy. Uh, Pre-market looked like we were going to get down a little further. But now, pre-market, we're moving up a little bit. We'll see how it acts. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be green here when it opens, and we'll just kind of watch what it does. Um, Right now, I'm looking for us to move down a little bit further. Ideally, oh, T-line 378.40. Uh, even better would be about 376.80. We'll have to watch if that happens today or not. Bulls might want to try to push this up a little higher. They're still pretty stout, uh, not giving anything up, I'll tell you. Um, the SPY. Uh, we've got the SPY. If you look at what's going on here, where's my, my thing here? There we go. Um, things like this happen. And I believe we talked about this yesterday. I'm going to put another one just somewhere up here. Things like this happen. And um, what it is, is, you know, we, we rally and then you get to a point where you have to rest. And then you rally, you have to get to a point where you have to rest. You rally and then you have to get to a point where you rest. And you have to. This is a have to thing. And you go through any chart, you'll see that. It always does that. So, you know, if we start walking sideways a little bit, it could be just a rest, meaning that we are going to get another move to the upside. There's always that chance it rests and it just decides it's too tired and needs to pull back. But what happens, it's while it's resting, what we've got going on here is... The, the move has to be digested and digested with moving averages. Moving averages will start catching up and that will start acting as support as we digest. That could lead to that, lead to that next rest spot up there. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, let's look at SMH. I think we should. There's... There's something about uh, the market when you're firing on all eight cylinders that just makes the market good, okay? And uh, SMH, that's part of that. And it's working. It's firing. And if you look at the transports, they're working now. Transports have now broken out of this downtrend. They're working. Um, th this is starting to be a well-oiled market. It, it's starting to, to be that. And um, it it wouldn't take much to push it into overdrive. Um, and, and like always, there could be some news out there that crushes it. Um, and, but that, that could be any time uh, under any market condition. Market can be tanking and there could be some news that just pops it up, you know, totally bullish. So, but right now, the charts, everything is starting to be well oiled. So, uh, well, making I'm chalking myself out of that that put that I have here. All right, let's look at a few charts that I have uh, pinned down here. First, let's start with UNG. I know a lot of us are in UNG here, and it's still, you know, it keeps coming back down to these lows. Um, what we've got is a grouping here. So, here is. Um, you know, here's your rest area, and what's wrong with my mouse? There we go. I think it's me. Here we've rallied up. So what we need is for it to break out again and then give us another one of those rest areas. And, you know, at some point, ultimately what we want is UNG to break out of this, this top line up here. And that's where the real money starts. And I know a lot of us are playing with it, accumulating some uh, in anticipation of that. So... We'll just, I'll keep you posted, anything I find or see. Hey, I'm starting to think about PFE. We talked about PFE as, you know, that, that lifer, uh, 
alert that we have uh, playing with it. We can talk about more. We can even add more to it. Uh, we'd love to add more to it. Uh, but PFE is starting to look a little good here. I, I'm not going to be a bottom picker. I'm going to wait till it proves itself. But this is how it starts. You know, we come down over here and we put this tail in. We rally up. And we come down and put a lower or a lower low in. Now what we need, well, then we have candlestick bunches together like this. That's pretty good candle pattern. Now what we need is to come up a little bit and maybe even put in another low. Now this is, I'm just painting what I would like. Doesn't mean that's what's going to happen. And then we could have ourselves an inverted head and shoulders. And then from there, attack the 50 period moving average. Now that's where I'm going to get a little interested in it. Uh, unless we actually make the, head, the inverted head and shoulders and then maybe interested above that. But uh, above the 50, that's, that's what I'm really kind of thinking. And if we, if we draw, let's see, let's go up here, right to the top. And do I have that on the, on the lows? There we go. Uh, go right from the way up here uh, back in January. This right here is the 50% retracement. That is very doable. That is extremely doable. It just has to catch some fire down here. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that and uh, I'll, I'll keep you posted. Make sure everybody has the app on. If you don't have the app, you need to get the app. Um, make sure it works. Okay. Um, another one. Uh, where's my list here? Uh, Bank of America. Uh, Bank of America may be setting up here. Uh, we've gone from a low to a high to a higher low to a higher high. We've taken on the 200 period moving average. It's winning. Uh, we're resting in here. So now we may see a move on Bank of America. I think this might be a stock for the watch list. Uh, I'll keep you posted on any updates, uh, entries, exits with the app. CPHPT, somebody pointed this out in the room yesterday. Thank you very much. Um, right now, I think we're just in some consolidation mode, uh, building or constructing a bottom. Uh, I, I think the big thing on this is if we can get through, well, pretty much that big ugly candle right here. Now, that's certainly tradable. Um, certainly money could have been made in it. And up to the 50 here, there's 15%. So there's, that's worth the risk to me just to play that little bit right in there with a tight stop. Keep your tight stop. You don't want it, you know, you want a good, a good tight stop on charts like this because if they start moving south, Man, they can be expensive. Um, I mean, it's it's eight nine percent right down there to the dotted deuce or the T line, so that's kind of uncool. But up to the fifties, cool. Anyway, we show some strength here. Um, that might be a nice little chart. That's on my watch list. Uh, let's talk about Target, okay? So I'm I'm not one for trading the gap. Uh, I'm one for waiting and let's see what happens, okay? So yesterday Target gapped up. So what I'm going to start doing. And this is much like the Disney trade that pulled in some really good money. So we've got the first candle in yesterday. That's going to be our backstop. That's going to be the candle that we play against because candles require fellow candles. When once a candle gaps, it's lost. It's gone. It has nothing to compare to. It has no friends, has no enemies. Now it's got a friend. Now it has a friend. So now we can compare these two candles on how they're acting. And that's what I'm going to be looking for because I see target still moving higher. So to me, I want this as a trade, but I want to trade it smart, trade it right, make some money on it. Uh, anyway, I'll keep everybody posted on that. I like this chart. We'll see what happens here. Let's throw this up here. Let's, let's do this. There we go. Right to this high about 164, you can see we're just butting up against that 50% range. That's nice because I like being around that. Over that 50% range, then that's going to give us about this area up here. About this area, that's the keyword takeaway there. Okay. Um, and then up here, that would be awful nice just to take on those highs up there. So anyway, there's my plan for target. I'll keep everybody posted. 
Thank you so much. That's about all I have here this morning. Um, I got two, two, two tickers. Anyone have two tickers to look at? Good morning, Rickster. Tommy. Tommy, I'm glad your audio's back. Let's look at VZ. VZ. Yeah, VZ setup. Put that on the watch list. Boom. All right. So here we are. Uh, again, th this is one of these things that it's, it just, it happens like clockwork, okay? You get these consolidated consolidation areas. By the way, here's a nice little gap to go study. And then you get these consolidation areas. And what we're going to count on, and we could be wrong, but we're going to count on another one. All right. So here we've run up, we've rested, we've run up, we've rested. What we're going to count on is another run up and rest. And we're going to trade that. So the, the way I want to trade that is... When we're tight in here, I'm going to put this a little box around here just, just to show that tightness. If we, you know, I don't know that I see any rock'em, sock'em, hey, the bulls are about to take it out candles in there. If we can catch it as it starts to break out, that would be sweet. Or a breakout and a rest. And that's what I'm going to look for. Uh, I'm going to have it on the watch list. We'll see what happens. And then the idea is to run to that next rest area right in there. Anyway, nice chart. Thank you very, very much, Rickster. We have time for one more. Let's look at Mara. Mara, Mara, Mara. Mara. Mara needs to break out. Uh, to me, that's simple as that. Now, you know, there's, you, there's nothing wrong with buy it in here, uh, May. No, nothing at all wrong with that. Every, every trader's got, whoa, that's not what I wanted. Every trader's got their, you know, where, where they like to buy. And there's nothing wrong with this buying in here. But ultimately, we need to break out. Once we break out, then I think we have something. Um, yeah, here's the weekly chart. If we break out here, then we can maybe come attack that 200 period moving average up there. So, um, Bar Mara is bullish right now. The entry is what's probably tricky. And also, you can see how wacko it is. It's pretty wacko. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you at the bottom of the hour. Appreciate you being here. Let's trade smart. Let's make some money. Let's have a great time. We'll see you.